Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and this is... The Spooky Seagull. When we last left off, we beat the Savage Labyrinth, got a part heart piece, and a treasure chart. This time, or a Triforce chart, sorry. This time, we're going to be wandering around the island. You can go ahead and come back to Link now. Because there's one quest that I would like to do that we haven't gotten done, but Tinkles bugged us about it. It is the Finding Knuckles side quest, which does nothing for 100%, kind of nothing for us at the moment, or ever, and is just there because I want to see Knuckle in the game. Okay, so what we need to do is have Mr. Fairy wander around the island until Tingles says something. Okay. That's how you start the quest. I uh, preferably, this is one of the key spots, right? preferably over by the the pier. Okay. So we'll cut back when we get a we get a a signal. What's up with this? Ah, there it is. We got it. Knuckle says, "There you are." Knuckle, it's Knuckle. I was so worried about you. Don't play dumb. Why do you doodle on Tingle Tower? I built that thing. Um, what? That for Tingle only sign I wrote. Sorry, please forgive me. Hmm. Well, I might consider it if the fairy will do if I, as I ask. Mr. Fairy, can you get in that outdoor bath? Just don't open any doors before you finish doing what I tell you. You'll fail if you do. Mr. Fairy, please help me. Do what my brother says. Please. Hmm. Now let's test you further. Next, go down the ladder that no one uses. And that ladder is over by Medley's... Or not Medley's, uh, Ariel's... Look out. Look. Out, look out. I've been really bad with names recently, like people that I know close, I haven't gotten the names of right today, so I'm gonna be a little bit weird this episode. And if you ask, pal, are you drunk? Maybe. Okay, so there's the ladder that no one uses. Shoot, nice work. Next, can you climb onto the biggest rock at the top of the hill? Thank you. Hey. Maybe. Yep. Here we go. Okay, congrats. You're pretty good, I must say. Next. Try to jump down below the suspension bridge. Do you have that much courage? Okay, so down below the suspension bridge. There are two parts that he could be meaning here. Here, look down there. I think what we always do is we start out on that little And then fall one. down. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Remember the wind. It is going in direction. So you're going to have to backpedal here. Uh, oh, we should have used the tingle work. balloon. We should have. Go to the go to the backwards one. Oh, snap. Oh. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Use jump tack if you need to. Nice. Nailed it. Oh, oh enough, enough. I've lost the contest on this island. What can I do? Oh, I'll give you the hand-me-down tuner. Ugh, oh, I'm going back home. Mr. Fairy, you're great. You're just like family. When you come to Tingle Island, I'll call you Link instead of Mr. Fairy. That will be nice. Yeah, sort because of. Because Mr. Fairy's a little bit creepy. So, the hand-me-down tuner, before we get to the actual meat of the episode, is an item that allows you to buy very, very expensive, not expensive items. So you pay a bunch of money just to get, like, arrows or... Yes, okay, so for 10 arrows, it costs 50 rupees. Ouch. So it's basically to be used in the most dire of straits. So never, since this game is that E word that sounds like easy. It's easy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. next, uh, we could get more Triforce charts, but I would like to finish the, the quest for the last heart piece, because that will give us the last full heart so we're going to be doing that and it starts in forest haven so we'll meet you over there so the side quest that we're tackling is one that lots of zelda players dread all across the world are withered deku trees that were planted right at the beginning of the game after we completed the forbidden woods and they're dying because they need the water of forest haven so if we bring each of those water they will grow up into full-blooded trees and we will get the last piece of heart by watering them all. Here's the drawback. 
Well, here's the, the boon first. The water, once we capture it, it will r last forever. We can use it an unlimited amount of times. The drawback is that, yeah, after 20 minutes, it will turn into normal water. So, yeah. So we're going to be completing this in about 15 minutes, and less if you include cuts. So what we're going to be starting with is we're going to sail east from here to Cliff Plateau Isles, which is G6. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Mmm, seems like there'd be lots of my favorite choo-choos here. Actually, there might be a blue choo-choo here, you never know. If we grab it, I mean, if we come across it, go ahead and grab it. So, this is G6, you want to show it on the map? Right here. And if we can, we're going to feed Merman. Or Sean Connery. Well, we're kind of in a hurry. So the sapling is where? Because I'm not seeing a sapling. Is it, uh, is it on the highest island? Actually, Can I jump to that? actually, we're going to have to go through the cave to get there. Ooh. Okay. That's interesting. Nova's in control, by the way. I don't think I made that clear. You did not. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I was wondering when we were going to tackle this. It's one of my favorite areas of the game. Yeah, the, these little islands are, are cool, first of all, because they're nowhere else. But second of all, because you can rotate them to rotate the platforms by using the Deku Leaf. Which, yeah, we have magic power for, so that's nice. Although it's looking like we won't need to at all. Uh, oh, you can get over over the thing from that, that one. Nova. I can just fly. Yeah, okay. This. Yeah, just do that. That's kind of cool. Once again, there are a lot of... Oh. What? Uh. There are a lot of things in this game that remind me of Pikmin. Yeah. And this is one of them. I believe there's a cave in Pikmin 1 that looks a lot like this. Uh, or there are no caves in Pikmin 1. Oh. Uh, it's... I'm thinking of Valley of Repose then. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so these... Th it's, it's just kind of cool. Now, Pikmin 2 was made... when? 2002? And this was 2003? Maybe. So, it would have very easily drawn inspiration. Also, it's kind of a shame that we have to draw out the episode by by completing this, but that's fine. Uh, you can grab the treasure chest. You can get it from here. It's right there. Oh. Uh, unless it's being blocked. Yeah, it it's is, okay. High. Never mind. Now, as Tingle, I can't do anything in here, which is a shame. I'm not sure how how are you gonna get back there? Is it just a maze or Yeah, I think you might have to get in from above. Maybe. <laughs> great <laughs> Great conversation, Nova. Yeah, I think you have to get in from above or there's something that switches them off. Just try jumping in that butt. No, 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 no. Jump in the butt. Oh. Yeah, try to I try to actually that. progress. That was a weird camera change there. Kind of got fish-eyed for a moment there. Okay, so we just jump in from above? After doing... Well, it's not an important treasure. I still want it, because it's completion. Good idea. Now, do you get in there from with the Deku Leaf? I guess you could just jump down. Whoa. Now, how do you get, how do you get out? They'll they'll g they'll leave once I get it. Will they? Okay. Man, that's kind of actually scary. And oh, hey. Uh, not really worth it, but okay. But I'm not sure if we have enough for later. Though. Okay. So it could be handy. It may be handy, but it's probably not going to be. Joy pendants are are the junk. They're the Deku nuts of this game, in my opinion. Oh, really? Okay, let's cut back up there, since this is kind of platforming. Tedious. I don't think you can fly that. Please. Oh, that was close. Good job. I thought there was a uh, a grappling hook thing that you could have used. There it there is. is. With 
I have no clue how much time we used up on our timer, but we should be good. We oh. have a whole 20 minutes. It's not that hard. Yeah, good job. Talk to the talk to the little man, the this Korok. This is Elma, right? No, this is not Elma. Thank you very much, swordsman. You must find seven more of my fellow Koroks. If you pour that forest water on all our trees, then the trees shall surely grow strong again. But remember, in just 15 minutes and 5 seconds, the forest water you have will turn into plain water. So hurry up and look for my fellow Koroks. Alright, so next we're going to be warping to Southern Fairy Island. Once again, actually, we're probably going to skip out on Merman, so let's go. Where's the boat? Behind you. Treasure? To your right. No, no. Okay, fine treasure. Okay, I'm guessing this is a treasure chart, because what else would we get? Yeah. Silver Rupee would be in a giant chest. This is most likely a treasure chart. It is a treasure chart, I called it! Now, it could be funny. It could be a treasure chart that leads to a treasure chart. They don't actually do that in the game. There have been sightings of ships falling from the sky here. How odd. You're getting closer to the destination. Okay, what did he just say? Ships falling from the sky. Maybe before we defeated Cyclos, he was around. Oh, here. that's possible. Okay. But still, <laughs> Tingle is high. Just as he always is, all the time. Oh, oh, it's a puzzle island. Oh, it's this island. You know I what? Can I can never remember how to solve the puzzle. Here. I mean, we could just complete the puzzle. Yeah, let's complete the puzzle. But he's right there. I know, we'll we'll complete the puzzle though, because otherwise we're never gonna come back to this island, and I would feel bad about not completing it since we see it. So let's water him first. And you're gonna run out of time if you want to stop. The actually, game. yeah, you're right. I wanna do all these things, but I forget that we're on a literal time limit that's shorter than the actual episode, so I guess we're leaving this for a later point or never coming back. That's sad. Okay, uh where are we going next? Warp to Great Fish Isle. And the Deku Tree is actually at Great Fish. So the the two guy down, that we've been to go. what two down five to go. Yes. So the guide that we're using is the actual official Prima guide. And as much as Prima gets hate on them for getting some things wrong, well, first of all, every guide gets things wrong. Uh, they actually they made a very cohesive way to do this, which is nice. Like the list they made and a lot of their directions in this particular Prima guide are good. And we've only found one. One typo? Yeah. Okay, go that way. And that was in that was in the the heart piece listing. And it's just the the lack of a word that would give context. Okay, so it's on the spiral island, so right there. The corkscrew. And it's right at the top. We're only going to be talking to my friend Elma from now on. We're not talking to every Korok. That that would just be excessive and I'm pretty sure they say the in they all say the same things. The good thing is that they allow us to warp with this this quest. Yeah. Imagine if they didn't. How how bad would that be? You'd have to be a speedrunner to do this. It would be this. a true time trial. So, of all the heart pieces that we've gathered thus far, which one would you say is the was the hardest to get? Um. Okay, go ahead and go ahead and uh warp to Needle Rock Isle. Or, sorry, sorry. Actually, no, just sail southwest from here. Well, really, the hardest side quest-y thing we've had to do so far is getting the magic armor. Yeah, that was that was pretty bad. I mean, it's not related to a heart... It is sort of related to, to a heart piece, but it's also just a, a very, very, very monotonous side quest. And it the, it makes matters worse that you can't just warp to Mother and Child Isle. Mm -hmm. We were just at Needle Rock Isle some episode some episodes ago, so mm -hmm. this is kind of familiar location. T destination ahead. Next stop, your destination. Please use this feature again. So if I recall, this this particular Deku tree is yeah. We don't have to do anything special. We just walk up to it, water it, and leave. It's it's kind of weird that that first one needed a um, a tiny little hoop to jump through to do that. That's that's odd to me. 
Also, it's Elma! I have no clue why she's my favorite, but we're gonna talk to her anyway! Thank you very much, swordsman! You must find four more of my fellow Koroks. If you pour that forest water on all our trees, then the trees will surely grow strong again. But remember, in just ten minutes, the forest water you have will turn into plain water. So hurry up and look for my fellow Koroks. She see it just seems she seems the like the more normal of them all. <laughs> I mean, there are some of them that just are kind of mangled, and then Makar has this weird thing that looks like he's a burn victim with his eyes being different shapes. And yeah, okay. So where do we need to go next? Burn victims aside, warp to the Tower of the Gods, then sail south to the private oases. The seafood is delicious around there. It'd be great to live somewhere like that. Alright, if you look at the map here, the private oases. I'm guessing it, it it's kind of just like this private condo. Con condo? Private resort. Resort, thank you. So, so we're basically infringing on someone's private property. The sun is coming up once more. Sunrise is always so refreshing. And this one's done. These are really easy. Why, do it, why did we dread this quest? Alright, so where do you need to go next? We're almost done, actually. We need to go to Eastern Fairy Island. So if we warp back to the Tower of the Gods, then we can sail south. Tingle just told me three question marks. An exclamation mark. Three exclamation marks. I can sense the fairy's telepathy. Tingle loves you. Whoa, people are staring. What on earth, Tingle? Tingle is a creepy man. Don't you look at him. Okay, now I'm not sure if this blue choo-choo is one that we've gotten before. Also, we have mail. Yeah, off screen I had been buying bait and hoi pears to set up for that weird fun glitch. And we ended up getting silver membership with beetles, so let's do that real quick and then grab the blue choo-choo. Good morning! Where's the language? What letter? Here's a letter. Oh, really? Yeah, just just accept it. Oh. It's only ten rupees. Besides, we're getting something cool, maybe. <clears throat> Thank you for your frequent patronage of Beetle Shopship. Because you have earned 30 points, you have been granted silver membership. All silver membership. Ah, I can't do this. Receive special gift from the thing ID. It is valid at all Beetle Shopship, so bring it to the shopship shop shift near you. I look th forward to your future patronage, Beetle. What is this thing? I don't remember. You got the po complimentary ID. Who knows what this is, but apparently you should take it to ta Beetle. Keep it in your special to do the thing. Okay, so I have no clue what that is. Oops. Okay, so we've gotten this guy before. Now, next we need to go to, before this thing runs out, we need to go to... Oh, snap. Mother and Child Isles. So we have to warp to Tingle Isle, then sail northwest to Child. I feel like Tingle would make a fun GPS. Could you picture that? I you're just don't want to you're just that. driving down the road and you hear, "Hey, turn right now," and it would be in my voice, of course, because I'm the official voice for Tingle. All my <laughs> my voice acting genius. All right, now where we need to go next? There is one last location, and it is Star Isle B1. One quadrant, squadrant, quadrant, quadrant, north of here. <laughs> Between <laughs> quadrant, squadrant, and Adrian Beef, <laughs> I seem forgetful for those two things. Although for, Ad for Adrian Beef, it's more of a <laughs> the gag that I forget his name. The first couple times it was real, and then I was just like, you know what? If I'm going to forget all these times, why should I remember his name any other time? Okay, so hopefully we have enough time left on the, the water because it would really stink having to go back for the last one. But I, th I think we're good. I, I think we'll make it in time. Okay, yeah, we have four minutes left. How did you know that? Alright, the last location. Star Island. Now, the, the guide 
says that they finished with five minutes to spare, and we have like three minutes, I think. So we didn't go fa we didn't do it faster than they did, but they had the hacks probably. So. I'm surprised Link didn't run from the hills from that. Last time something glowed in front of him, he kind of get, got launched five quadrants away. There it is. The last heart piece of the game, and now we have 20... Yes, that's right. 20 hearts. Doop-a-doop-a-doop-boop. Doop-a-doop-a-doop-boop. Yay! Okay, so... I'm not, I'm honestly not sure how much time we have left in the episode. I, I really have no clue, because the timer doesn't really work when you're cutting around everywhere. You don't know what you're keeping, you, you don't know what you're not, so I apologize if it's long. I <laughs> say you're welcome if it's short, but we're going to be getting at least one Triforce chart. It's in, let's see, what is it called? Steel Ring Isle? Islet of Steel. Islet of Steel, thank you. And it is a quadrant below... Great fish. So it's pretty easy to get to, and we're going to be doing that right now. In fact, I don't even need to cut this, so future pal, you're welcome. This aisle we've been to a couple of times. Noth we've always passed by it, and I even did some farming for rock feathers earlier on in the game. Uh, so it's one that's kind of familiar, but... I've got a bad feeling about this place. Be careful, Mr. Fairy. I didn't mean to do that. Destination ahead. Oh wait, he says this before. All right, so Ice Ring Isle is full of. Islet of Steel. Thank you. Why do I call, keep calling it that? It's Remember full of. You're mixing up names. It's full of steel. Shoot the guy. Done. Good job. I guess you could do that too. That's nice. Now here's the problem. You're probably going to get blocked by that little orb. Maybe. Let's hope not. Overkill. Fire everything. <laughs> Good first try. Hey, you can swim in there. I don't want to try that. Okay. Well, hurry. Oh, I I have bombs. Sorry. My bad. Okay, he's dead. Really, it pushes it. We don't need it anyway. We're done with that part of the part of the game. What? Do we need to swim in there? Oh, oh no, we're good. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> I why were they guarding this? Wouldn't they want to give that to Ganon? Be like, "Bro, here know. you go, dog." Or even even better burn it for him. Like they burn one treasure chart, triforce chart, and that's that's the end of the game oh, right there. I know I know what what? It was bait. So, you know, Ganon would rather someone else do all the work and collect him, right? Mm -hmm. But should Link fail and die to warships or something, then that's also a bonus. So, I think, way. well, the problem is, I guess, would be that Ganon was a little bit too heavy on the beer rations for his, his warship drivers, pilots, sailors, commanders, I don't know. Because... Admirals. Admirals, because they, like, seriously, they're drunk at the wheels or something. They're just kind of shooting and throwing up everywhere. <laughs> like, they don't really know what they're doing. You got the Triforce Jard. I have no clue what number this is. I'm probably going to put it, yeah, I'll probably put it on screen if they're numbered. Are they numbered? They are numbered. They are numbered? Okay, then I'll be probably doing that. Even though I didn't do it last time, but that's, whatever. Okay, so since that was so easy, I'd like to go get another one. Uh, we're going to cut there. Be right back. You're right there. We have plain water now. Worship. Worship, worship, worship. I get it. <laughs> get worship. Ah, I get it. You yeah, but worship. Ah, I, get, I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But you get it? It's war and it's ships. Ah, I, 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 I get it. You see what you do? You, you're not getting it. You put ship and war together, and it gets we worship. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mr. Fairy, if you combine ship and warship, you get me. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckle here, nice reception. How old are you, Link? 
<laughs> that, that's not what he asked. He asked, how are you? And you read, how old are you? <laughs> yes. Call me again sometime, sir. So, in map, Nova. Here. What is it, like, E... A Needle Rock Isle. Needle Rock Isle. It's here. There are warships that you shouldn't worship because that's idol worship. Sink it, Gohan. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was violent. <laughs> and they both sank each other, and they sank their battleships and their whales. Ah, oh, it's morning already. I fell asleep, holding. A gun. <laughs> no. That's not what he said. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Also, that thing was like not below the water at all. Link could just reach down into the water and grab that. That was really easy. Like, I feel like we have more time in the episode. Do you feel this as well? No. Okay. Well, on Nova's request, so if the episode's really short, blame her. On Nova's request. I will end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, Nova, get out of the cannon range, please click like, and if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Release new episodes of Wind Waker, Tuesdays, and Fridays, and we'll see you guys next time for another Pablo's Wind Waker. Oh, did you Dude. see that marksmanship right there? Hey, I, I did that with a bow a couple episodes ago in the end slate, and I was accurate. You can kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Nice!